I won as a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I won't have I hid. Oh God. Who determines what to, what's right? God. The only one who determines the standard of what is good is God. For the listen to this verse, Isaiah 33, 22. And if you happen to have come across this and you're sitting there unsaved without that right relationship with God please listen to this for the Lord is our judge the Lord is our lawgiver the Lord is our king he will save us at the end of the day you know what you're not going to be able to stand there and say okay MT TV said that this was okay or this person God is the one who determines the standards of good behavior it really is simple each person will choose to either listen to the world or to the word. It's one or the other. To be conformed or to be transformed. The pressure from the world is incredible. It's constant and demanding all the time. All the adverts that you see on... listen. We're, this is a Super Bowl weekend here in the United States of America. The, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, sporting event in the year, right? This year, companies are spending four and a half million dollars to buy 30 seconds of time to get into your brain. They would not do that. If These it didn't work. work. They would not do it if they were not absolutely convinced and had evidence that it works, that it will change your mind. Because it's not only that four and a half million dollars, that's just what it costs to buy the time. And they'll equally spend millions and millions of dollars on the production of these commercials. In other words, companies are going out and spending millions upon millions of dollars just to get into your brain for 30 seconds. They are utterly convinced that they can change your mind. Change your behavior. Change your, well, when you change your mind, change your it'll change your behavior. A man, our dear brother Arthur Burr says, a man is ruled by what he believes. So, the world is constantly putting that pressure on you to change your mind. People say, when I talk to men about being a Christian, they say, oh, you're brainwashed. I say, hallelujah. And we'll wash clean by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. As much as the pressure of the world is, don't get depressed about that, because remember this, hallelujah. You are from God, little children and have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. Yes. So as much pressure as they put on you, there's never a need for you to succumb. There's never a need for you to give in. You have to stand. Having done all, stand. Okay? The choice you make concerning goodness, good and evil, will determine the words that you hear from Jesus when you come face to face. Well, no. well, think about the worst, because there's choices here. You have the choice to make about the behavior that you live, right? You will either hear this, Jesus says, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness, the evil. Practice. Yes. yes. Do it. Right. Or, the word I greatly desire that we all hear would be this. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think about that. Enter into the... Well done, good and faithful. And faithful. That's the next one. Mm -hmm. Goodness. So the words that you will be greeted with are about your goodness and your faithfulness. Yes. Guess what the next one is that we're going to look at? Faithfulness. Faithfulness. The word, of, the word of God connected. goes from one to the other. In it's so fashion. incredibly yes, cool. Yeah, it is. It is. The way, I mean, it just, it is the most beautiful, perfect thing when you begin to understand and see it and have that Holy Spirit who dwells within you bring it to life yes. in you. What links us right into the next facet of the evidence of a redeemed life is that statement. 
good and faithful. So. Thank you.